Hi YouTube, this is Pen Withers. Seeing as the uh, evenings are starting to draw in, I've had a little bit of chance this week to do a bit more progress on the roundhouse. Um, basically only just got it into position, but I obviously started uh, laying the tracks around uh, the turntable. And uh, <clears throat> let me just draw back here. And see we've actually got the turntable in place. I did have a Helsham turntable, but uh, after thinking about it, I went for one of these after seeing um, Graham Fulston's turntable. I was quite impressed with it. I've seen it in a couple of shows, but uh, I bit the bullet and ordered one up. Uh, it's a ADM turntable chap called Alistair Milne, um, really nice chap to deal with, ordered it, turned up two days later, so uh, obviously this video is just showing that, <coughs> excuse me, we've made a little bit of progress, obviously the turntable is in place, um, what I really liked about this turntable, uh, obviously you see this uh, green MDF that's uh, a fitting plate for it and it actually means that you can remove the turntable from underneath and obviously if you see where all the tracks uh, come in they sit over the turntable if you ever had a problem you would have to lift all those tracks to get it out so basically I'll just have a quick look in underneath Hopefully you'll see the um, there's three of these white retainers that actually you can adjust the height of the turntable. Where's the other one? Over there. And then you'll see the wing nuts. There's four wing nuts. And this ring actually, you undo that and you can drop the turntable out. There's the mechanism to actually work the turntable. Basically, uh, I've had it working, but it's not set up yet. But that's the uh, control panel that you get with it. And I've had a little bit of a play around with it, and it doesn't seem too bad to uh, actually set up. But obviously size-wise, it's just about right for what I uh, need to turn. Always the old Western will fit on there. That's about the biggest thing it will turn. So uh, it just, it looked more British. It's actually a Pico turntable. And this Alistair designed and made the um, mechanism to work it. So uh, all in all, a nice turntable. So obviously what we've done, we've got our nine roads in to the sheds what I've done is just temporarily screwed the uh, shed in place just so that I could basically lay these uh, tracks I've deliberately cut these short here because obviously I plan to take this section of board out which I did actually reduce the width was out about here but it made it a little bit tight then here so I thought the more you've got the more you'll fill in so uh, obviously that track there will be the entry onto the turntable I'll probably perhaps put another three possibly four roads around this side but other than that, I don't think I might do a couple of short ones. The St. Blazy uh, turntable had a couple of short uh, legs on it. So I might do a couple more, but I thought I don't want to detract from the roundhouse itself. And I can't remember. Obviously, I've laid in the extra track here. This is going to be the fuel side and where all the tankers will come in. These two here. There are going to be uh, a couple of fueling points on that and then hopefully in here I'm going to put some fuel tanks in. Um, 
And they've also popped in, it's not fitted yet, but there'll be another side in coming up through here. So I thought it'd be nice to, having got the basics of the uh, roundhouse together, for one of my favourite jobs is laying track, so I thought I'd get the turntable installed and get the track work laid in. Probably, obviously I've got to continue the tracks on into those couple of lanes there. Once I've done that and fitted it, I'll probably leave it to that and then I might get back on the shed. I've all had all the uh, brick, the southeastern fine cast um, brick sheets have turned up so I might make a look and start cladding the outside of the engine shed. The only other bit, obviously I've still not uh, got a definite idea on fitting the doors to make them hingeable but I got a couple of ideas so hopefully now with the dark evenings coming in we'll get a bit more of that done. So uh, I just thought I'd give you a look to show that you know we've done a bit. I'm hoping at the weekend that if I can get uh, the last few lanes around here possibly a little spur, a couple of little short spurs, get those in and then hopefully get all the droppers done on all these tracks and get them ready to connect up and then we'll perhaps have another video hopefully to show me programming the uh, turntable. I've had a quick little bash and it doesn't seem too bad so uh, hopefully if we all do a blow by blow account of uh, sorting that out. Well, there we are. Anyway, I thought I'd just, uh, I think I've done enough rambling. At least you can see there's a little bit more progress. And uh, we'll leave it to that. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as I say, bye for now.